Hey, what's up guys? This is Joy from Codelar Technologies Bangalore and in this video, we're going to be seeing how you can install and configure Magento. Uh, so but before we get our hands down and dirty in Magento, first we're going to need a couple of tools to get started. So the first tool is we need a server which, is, uh, which has PHP and MySQL uh, configured along with it. So since I'm on a Mac system, I'm using this uh, tool called uh, MAMP. If you're on a Windows system, I would recommend XAMPP. And for Linux users, you always have the LAMP stack. Or uh, if you're into Nginx and all, uh, it's not LAMP, it's, uh, it's the LAMP stack. And then uh, for Nginx lovers and all, you have the LAMP stack as well. So that's that. After you have installed, so I have already installed the MAMP uh, software on my system and it's up and running. So after you have your server ready, the next thing we need is a tool called Composer. So what Composer is, is that uh, if I go to the Composer's website, it says right here that it's a dependency manager for PHP. So what that means is uh, it allows you to manage all your extensions, all your add-ons which the project uses and it helps you manage the project as a whole. So the problem with downloading and just unzipping Magento in your directory like how we did in Magento 1 is that it becomes very, very difficult to actually manage or update the versions or even more difficult if you're actually using a ton of different extensions and then you need to update those extensions. So manually doing it is a very tedious task. So this composer comes to our rescue and we are surely going to be using this tool to actually install and uh, I mean download and install Magento. So after you have that installed, so I already have my uh, composer installed in my system. If I type composer, you can see that it shows up here. Uh, so after you have your composer ready, the next thing is we're going to be actually installing Magento. So let me just open this up real quick. So this is a list of, uh, you can say it's a cheat sheet of the important commands which you would need to execute uh, during your Magento development or installation process. I'm going to be leaving this these commands here as well so that you also have a cheat sheet where you can copy and paste instead of searching here and there. So this is the first command for downloading Magento. I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to go inside my MAMP uh, project root directory which in my case is applications MAMP HD docs and here I'm gonna okay I already have created a directory called uh, Magento 2 I'm gonna always go inside that and here I'm gonna execute the command so instead of this 2.2.7 you can have 2.2.6 or you can have 2.3.0 depending on which version you want to install so since 2.3 is not that stable yet so we're gonna be working with 2.2.7 for now and then we just press enter so it's going to ask for the username and password here so that you can get from by logging into the Magento marketplace. So if we go there and after you sign in, you go to my profile and here in under access keys, you're going to get the actual uh, username and password. So you're just going to copy those and paste it here and then the installation should start. So as you can see here, I have put in my uh, credentials and it's uh, it started installing Magento Project Community Edition 2.2.7. So this might take some time depending on your internet speed and uh, things like that, the server's performance at the time. So it should not take more than five minutes or so on average. So I'm just gonna forward this video to the time when it's actually installed. So as you can see the download is complete, it downloaded a couple of different modules which are required for Magento and now if I uh, list out the files of the directory you can see all the files which are required for Magento to run are downloaded. So next thing is actually installing the system. So for that we have two different ways to do it. One is we can actually go to our command line and type this command. So we have to change the base URL, the database uh, name, username, password, etc, etc. And that would install the Magento system. But the easier way to do this, which we're going to do right now, is we're going to go to the directory where we install. 
and we are greeted with this installer. So uh, one more thing which I think you guys should know is uh, don't try to use localhost here. Instead of localhost, always opt for 127.0.0.1 when you're doing your local development. Because there are known issues with localhost. The cookies are not set properly because of that. Uh, the add to cart doesn't work sometimes. So always go for this and you're good to go. All right, so now we click on agree and set up Magento start the readiness check oh everything's good to go I click on next I give my username and password and I already created a database called Magento 2 so you can name it whatever database you have created and then next let's change this to something simpler like admin or let's say demo admin next uh, so all of these things we don't need to change we can just click next because the default time zone the local currency the language all of these things can be changed later as well after the installation is complete so I'm just gonna leave it as they are I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna have to create a user so I created uh, let's say admin is the username joy the password is let's give something All right, next and install. So that would start the installation process. This would also take some time, but it won't take as much time as Composer took to download the files. So let's just wait for some time. You can see here we are installing the database schema. We are installing the deployment configuration. So the installation should start at any point now. So now we are actually installing the modules which are required <clears throat> all right so we can see that it's success uh, we have created a username and we have created our store so this is our store URL and this is the backend for our store URL if we go there the home page is opening it's opening okay, it's taking a little too much time to open let's check the backend till then all right the backend itself is also loading all right so we have our home page here uh, this is the luma theme which magento comes uh, with so this theme is installed by default you can put your own themes and also I'm gonna show you those in the next videos how to install your own theme how to make your own theme things like that and also we have the backend uh, loading as well all right so let's use the username and password which we had created and see if it logs in All right, so we have our uh, admin panel ready here and we have our home page ready here. So we have successfully installed Magento. So in the next video, so I'm gonna try to make this as a series of videos so that you can follow along and you can uh, go through the ride with me and you can uh, start developing on Magento. So this video was a very basic video and it just showed you how to install and configure Magento. Uh, as a bonus, I'm going to show you the IDE which I prefer and which Magento, most of the Magento developers prefer, which is PHP Storm. So if you can, it's not free, but you will get a free trial. So if you uh, need a very good IDE which will actually improve your development time, I think PHP Storm is the best there is. So I'm just going to open my project, which is inside Magento 2, open. All right. So this uh, PHP Storm is what I use and what I would recommend you guys use as well uh, to do your development on Magento. So this video was, uh, I mean, that concludes this video. So if you have any ideas for the next videos, what the next video should be, if you have any doubts which you want clear, please leave me a comment on the comment section below. And please like and subscribe this video so that I can continue making more. So thank you. That's all. Bye-bye.